Hi, I'm Brian. Kettle's on, make yourself a cup of tea. Now, today I want to talk about the DC Young Adult graphic novel I Am Not Starfire. Or more specifically, I want to talk about the trailer what DC just released. Now, on the 16th, they released the official trailer to market the book, to advertise it. And it's not gone down well. If we have a look at the likes to dislike ratio on DC's YouTube channel, you can see it's got 21,000 dislikes to just 1,500 likes for the video. Not only that, you can see on the comment section, the comments have actually been turned off. Now, I don't know what's been said on the comics, but judging by the like to dislike ratio, I can't imagine it's been good feedback. I mean, I don't know if DC were expecting good feedback of this comic, because it has been known about for a while, and I've not heard any positive note on this. Everyone I've heard talk about this book, no one's been looking forward to it at all. But it's not just on YouTube, it's over on Twitter as well. If you have a look at DC's official Twitter page, here it is again, advertising I'm Not Starfire. And you can see, again, DC have turned off the comment section for the video. Only people that DC have mentioned can reply. And DC hasn't mentioned anyone in the tweet. But I, again, I will assume this is the same reason as YouTube. It has not gone down well. Nobody's been looking forward to this at all. So I will assume that DC on both Twitter and on YouTube has just had a lot of negative feedback. I mean, you can see the quote tweets. There is 3,429 of them. And I mean, I did see a few retweets on Twitter when it was released. And again, there wasn't many people looking forward to it. So what is the graphic novel going to be like? Well, honestly, I don't know. All I know about this is it's about Starfire's daughter, who doesn't want to be anything like a man. I'm not going to lie, that is pretty much the only thing I know about this. I don't think it's going to go down as one of the great comic books what there's been. But it is keeping in line with how comics are or have been in the last few years where it's just garbage for want of a better word. Just throwing stuff out there and seeing what sticks. I mean, I think DC knows this isn't going to do well. I mean, why else have the turns comments off on both YouTube and Twitter? Now, the other thing about this comic is it is written by Makio Tamaki, I believe her name is. A lot of people have mentioned this before and there is a lot of resemblance between the author of the book and the main character. It just looks like she has self-inserted herself into the comic, which if she wants to do, that is fine. But most people, when they're putting themselves into something that they're working on, they do it subtly, whether they have parts of themselves in there, they have some of the personality in there, or whether they'll give themselves a small cameo somewhere. But no, she's put herself as the front and centre main character in this, looking at it. So I think this is more of a vanity project for her. I might be wrong, this is just my opinion, but I do think, in my opinion, she wanted to be a star of a comic, and this is why she wrote it. Wanted to see herself as a superhero, but a different kind of superhero, which is why she has no powers, and she wrote this comic just to essentially write a fan fiction about herself being a superhero. Because honestly, I cannot think of another reason why she would have the main character look so much like her. I mean, I could be wrong, like I said, these are my opinions, but judging by the ratio of dislikes to likes, on YouTube and the fact that DC have turned off comment section on both YouTube and Twitter so they can't hear people's feedback. It's clearly not the positive feedback DC were looking for and rather than take that feedback and criticism on board to help future projects, they've turned off notifications because, well, for lack of a better word, they don't like it. But unless you get feedback and criticism, you don't improve. So they'll just keep going down this route forever or until... The money dries up and DC Comics gets pulled, which I don't think is in the too distant future, unfortunately. Comics have been in a decline for a while. But what do you guys think on this I'm Not Starfire book? Do you want to read it? Are you looking forward to it? Do you not like the look of it? Were you one of the people that commented on it on the YouTube channel? Please do let me know in the comments below. And that's all from me. I'm off to make a fresh cup of tea.